Hey folks, welcome back to War Thunder. So today we're doing some live comms in the FGR2. Um, I just want to see what the uh, radar update is like because allegedly this thing now has pulse Doppler radar which means it should be quite good at finding things at basically any altitude. Um, not sure if I really believe it or not yet, but um, the lobby we're in is basically, um, there's, a, there's a quite a lot of people on the enemy team, actually they outnumber us now. But the uh, the guys are quite well known for just zombing, just bombing runways and not really putting up much of a fight. So I'm going to see if I can find any and uh, see if I can sparrow them at low altitude, that's the goal. I actually haven't even brought... Um, that's friendly. I haven't actually brought any guns, so... We'll see how it goes. So we're scanning out to 19 kilometers in a narrow scan. The uh, radar's not seeing him though. Which is a bit of shit. Quite a bunch of stuff over there. Oh, it's, it's friendly. Oh, this is enemy. Please track. Nope. No, he's dead anyway. It's friendly. <sighs> Should really have guessed that sparrows would fuck me over. I know that you've got to lead them, but when they come off the rail and fly sort of downwards, it's, it makes it very difficult to point them the right way. What's this? Anime. Let's get some speed and some altitude. It's traveling, a little off traveling. Turned into fucking Kim Jong un from uh, T America. It's traveling very slow. I think it's a surveillance aircraft. Right, this is better track. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it just popped up. And there it goes. One thing that always throws me about BVR missiles is that when you're watching fights in things like DCS, like, you know, proper sim games, um, long range missiles always seem to kill the target when it's still quite far away but in War Thunder I feel like you catch up with your own missile so fast that you might as well just close the gap and use a sidewind. Right, there's a low spec down there. Radar's not seeing that one. Oh well, here it is. And it is enemy as well. M9Ds don't have uh... I thought we hadn't tracked them. M9Ds don't have radar slaving, so I actually did have to point M. We've got one sparrow left. So uh Statistically, if 50% failed and we fired three and the one tracked and the last one should work. Right. There's something high as well. That's enemy.
Let's gain some altitude. Get some speed. I think it's probably AI. It's almost certainly AI, in fact. And um, we are within launch parameters. Please track. Oh, did it? Did it? I don't think it did. I think it went stupid. Oh, okay, it did track. Well, that was a waste. Part of the um, community is currently working with one of the moderators, or he might even be a game developer, I'm not sure. Um, I think he's called Last Grey Angel or some something to that effect. But, um... That sounded like I just got fired on. Just killed myself. Fuck me. That's the second time I've done that now and depressingly recent time frame. Please kill him. Whew, that was close. That's friendly. So it seems that with the new radar, basically, if you just put it on this Uber Narrow scan mode, um, it doesn't really have any issues locking people up. It's just, um, it's just at extremely low altitude, I suppose. But I did manage to lock that one guy who was pretty much under me, which I didn't really expect would happen. So um, I'm happy with it for now. The biggest issue is that sparrows just randomly don't fucking work. Now I've got to land without flaps. I'm not actually sure why I'm sliding down yet, because I don't think it's that close.
attention to the designated grid zone. We'll